Hey boys, welcome back to some more IPL 2020 on Cricket 19. Going over the rest of the round one results as uh, Sunrisers with Warner and Saha being uh, no wickets falling in the match there. <laughs> Able to get the victory. Again, not many wickets falling and uh, another thrilling encounter of De Villiers Coley, but then Jason Roy and Aya doing the, doing the business at the end. And the only other match, Stephen Smith and Joss Butler pulling out the victory for the Royals against uh, against the Kings eleven. So yeah, some uh, some high scoring matches. I mean, fifty to sixty, or actually most teams got sixty. So yeah, uh, high scoring, not many wickets, and we're going to be taking on the Rajasthan Royals in this encounter. Who, yeah, they did get the victory. Steve Smith. Joss Butler got the got the uh, got the win for the boys, and uh, yeah, looking at their team, it it is it's top heavy. Um, I do make a few a few changes here. I'm putting in like like I said in the previous match. Basically, I'm trying to make the teams as strong as possible. I know it's not how the IPL is, you know, legally allowed to be played. They can't have more than four internationals, but Dude, we're we're just gonna go. We're going to put the the best of the best in uh, in the team. So that's what we're doing. So yeah, hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can uh, do the business here. Try to try to get a win. We couldn't uh, couldn't quite get the victory last up. It was I mean it was a thrilling game. If you haven't checked it out, I would I would highly recommend go and watch that last match, our first round encounter, because. Uh, yeah, against the Mumbai Indians, it was it was it was a good match. It was a very good match. It was very, it was just a weird match. It sort of it was a mirror. It was a mirror match, you know. Pretty much, our our four four of our five bowlers bowled very well, and then Sunil Narayan got absolutely smoked to all parts. And twenty twenty three off is over, and uh, it pushed the the Indians up to a very respectable. 64 I think it was as we are going to win the toss and we are going to have a bowl first again pretty much if I, if I win the toss I'm going to bowl first pretty much every time I just like I like knowing what we have to chase it just for me it makes it easier um and then on the flip side uh the Mumbai Indians four of their five bowlers did an excellent job and then it was uh, <laughs> it was Jasper Bumrah of all players to get absolutely smoked. Did not have a good over. Bowled pretty much five of the six full tosses at the first delivery. Joss Butler gets a streaky outside edge, and he's gonna go for four. I mean, you know, <laughs> it was a good delivery from Paddy Cummins. It got big on on Butler, but he he flayed hard. He went hard at it, and uh, thick in, uh, outside edge went for a boundary. His second ball, another edge. This time does not carry to the man at points. So good start, good start for I mean for both teams getting a four first ball, but also looking dangerous with ball in hand. Paddy Cummins he bowled the last over in the last game, but he's he's up. Uh, up the front in this one, trying to trying to get an early breakthrough. That's honestly very crucial in a 5-5 match. He's trying to get a, a an early wicket or two to really halt any momentum. Is somehow how has that missed the stumps? It's come off the back pad and it is just trickled past the off peg. Obviously, we're not going to challenge. It was just sort of an appeal for hope. <laughs> that it would spin back. Look at this dude. How has just missed the missed the stumps? They do scamper through for a single, but a very a very tidy over. Actually, no. Apparently they don't. I thought they yeah they did get the leg by. It's one of those weird things with the game. They got the leg by, but Josh Butler is still on strike, which is very annoying because then he hits a four, a beautiful shot down the ground. I mean that can't be too disappointed. I'm mad because the game screwed over and he shouldn't have been on strike, but he's pulled out a beautiful straight drive over mid-off as this one is flicked away for another boundary. Josh Butler. It was it was promising to be a very tidy over, but a couple of boundaries on the uh, at the end there uh, did some damage. So Harry Gurney had a yeah pretty good game first up. Bowled very very tidy. Only about 11 runs I think off his off his over, which 
pretty much settle for. 10 to 10 to 12 runs, I think, is is good. As that is a cracking ball. A little, little bit of swing in. I thought there might have been a little tickle, but uh, no, no challenge needed right there. Um, but yeah, in that, that previous game, Jasper Boomer went for like 20-something runs, pushed us back into the game, and uh, just couldn't quite get the job done. Couldn't quite get it done at the end. It came down to the last ball, and and big Dre Russ, he lives for those moments, but he just couldn't get us over the line, unfortunately. So yeah, looking to looking to hit back strongly here is Joss Butler. Absolutely smokes this one for a boundary. Samson, he was struggling, but he got a nice inside edge to get off the mark, and it put uh, it put the very dangerous Butler back on strike. So I mean, at the moment, we're we're just trying to get get Butler off strike, ideally out. But if we can get him off strike with this type of form he's in, we're trying to you know how are we going to block him off? He's just uh, he's hitting it to all parts. We can only have three men out, so. It's sort of lick your wounds when it happens. I mean, we, we can only do what we can. Is that is a, That's a beautiful ball. He's shaping it in, shaping it in, shaping it in, and then just getting that one, the left-hand angle to, to go across him as uh, we try it again and probably probably chance the arm a little bit there. And Josh Butler, too good a player, sort of predicted it was coming again and just goes through with the line that time to smack it over cover so again finishing with the with a flurry so 26 off the first two overs Kuli Yadav actually he played in the first game but I just didn't get a chance to bowl him this match I'm not actually playing Sunil Narayan I think uh, he'll definitely play a role in the tournament for sure Narayan he's too good not to but I thought you know what we'll uh we'll we'll give Yadav you know a very a very good bowler um, the chance here, and Narayan can have a have a spell. Probably, you know, we'll, we'll probably switch Yadav and Narayan throughout the tournament because I think, yeah, I mean, we could bowl two spinners, but I, I probably like the pace at the moment. And uh, unless you know Yadav bowls excellent and Narayan can uh, can pick up some form, we might we might go with the dual spin tandem. We'll see how it goes. But a good start here. We're just trying to with the with the leg, the left arm. Chinaman, left arm leggy here. Just trying to cramp up the right handers, just get him full, get it to spin in. Not really letting him free his arms. I was trying to <laughs> trying to muck around with the field here. It changed to be just an absolute disgrace. So we had to we had to switch it around. And Butler, obviously very dangerous. Another another just cramping ball. I mean, it's tough to it, it's a tough ball to really hit. You know, for six. You know, just nice and full spinning in as this one again is just flicked away for a dot ball. Very, very good over here. Samson is struggling, but I mean Butler is is on fire. So being able to being able to tie Butler up as that is surely it's gotta be at the big slider straight through on the back pad. Gonna be cannoning into off peg. Butler with the with a chance to review. I mean honestly, it's probably out. He's not going to review, you know, for the form he was in, probably it would have been a nice review to take, but I, I can understand it. it did look pretty plum. A great bit of bowling Yadav who's come out and uh, and change the momentum here. One for one off his over. That is that is excellent. That is excellent bowling from the, uh, the young leg spinner as uh, big Dre Russ comes in. For the third over, bowling to Samson, who is struggling up a storm. Just try to keep him on strike as much as possible here. He just cannot, he cannot find the rhythm. He's only faced the five balls, but, you know, for, for a five over match, you really, you really cannot afford to be going up, uh, below a runner ball. And again, just can't get the timing. This one a little bit quicker. Catches the outside edge, the leading edge. Straight to the man at mid off and just try just tightening the screws, tightening the screws. And this is I mean, this is good for a multiple multitude of reasons. As right here he does get a, a thick outside edge to to sneak through for a single. But it's good for for a number of reasons because it, it puts pressure on now Steve Smith. He was already under pressure, you know, coming in at, uh, at number three. As that one is quick. That is that is really fizz through, but He's already under a lot of pressure coming in at number three. He's got to go bang straight away. Um, but with Samson really struggling to get going, is that is a that's a beautiful shot from Smith. Obviously, you know, none from two pressure was building, but he's able just to clear the leg there and, and smack it over over cover for 
for a boundary, but a very, a very tidy over so far, and this one is going to be played for, he's hit it well, but it's just going to be a, a couple there out to the man, almost a run out, but just a, a couple, so, yeah, the, the fact, the fact that Samson is, is batting so slowly, it puts even more uh, pressure on Steve Smith, there's, you know, it, it just, it, it mounts and builds, the run rate is only 8.5, um, you know, they've really got to up the ante here in a second, and he just cannot, he just cannot get away, honestly, it's a good, it's a good chance to keep him at the crease, wickets are always good, it will never turn down a wicket, is this one again, again, the leading edge, he just cannot get the pace of the pitch, we're just, uh, we're changing up the pace, bowling a few, sh uh, bowling a few slower ones, getting ones to fizz through, so it's, you know, maybe not the easiest of batting, Josh Butler made it look pretty comfortable. Is this one? He's going to get another streaky outside edge. He's going to pick up a couple. So pretty much ideal for us. Um, if he's going to get runs, if he can get two, then keep him on strike. Only get a couple. Doesn't uh, doesn't get much better than that. Is uh, Krishna? I think uh, did he play? In the, I don't think he played in the first game, but he's looking very very solid here, bowling a fantastic over. And I mean, this is this world is talking about the pressure is mounting, you know. And when you <laughs> In cricket, I mean, when the pressure is on, it, it doesn't matter how good you are. Like, as again, he's going to get a bit of... This one was a better shot. He did play it late through that gap. So a good shot there from Samson. Deserved the boundary. But, you know, when the, when the pressure is building, when the pressure is building and you're feeling it, it's not easy to get out of, the, get out of that non-scoring mindset, you know, because it, it doesn't come easy. You just know that the, the overs are running down... There's, there's not much time left, and there you go. End of the innings, and uh, a fantastic last over. They did not get, you would think, not nearly enough. One for 41, Samson, 10 off 13, Butler, 24, and Stephen Smith only faced the four for six. Look at the figures, dude. That, that is tremendous bowling from our unit. Everyone, everyone chipped in well. Paddy Cummins was the only expensive one, and, you know, he had to face... Uh, face a rampaging Josh Butler for most of it, so still not bad as Josh Butler is going to come into the fray with the ball, I I have no idea why, I probably, <laughs> I'll probably have to make sure when I'm editing the lineups to make sure that they don't have random opening bowlers, I didn't even notice, but um, yeah, a bit strange, I don't know why the hell Josh Butler is bowling, but <laughs> He gives us a nice juicy full toss to to get Gill underway, and I mean he was in tremendous touch last game, so he's picking up where he left off here. And uh, that one, no, honestly, I mean the funny thing is, is that it's not good bowling, but this type of really slow 110 kilometer type stuff, I find it very tough to actually get any sort of timing on. So it could be a little bit of a. a a curse for us, um, but Tommy Banton also looked pretty good uh, in the first game, is that one again, a full toss outside off, I mean, it's not where you want to bowl to Banton, just letting him free the arms, just giving him an easy opening scoring shot, four off one, continuing his uh, his quick start to the, to the innings, and this one is just flicked up there, <laughs> Again, the, the lack of pace got me. It was so slow. I was way too early on it, but it was there to be hit for sure. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it could go either way here this over. As that one is extremely slow. 99.7. That was a slow pace ball I've ever seen in this game. It lobbed up like a leg spinner and... We just waited beautifully for it. Tommy Banton did not make the same mistake. As again, it's full. And again, this one gets absolutely smoked over the bowler's head. And, you know, Josh Butler, he, he looked good with bat in hand. Not so much with ball in hand. And he gets absolutely punished. And honestly, that pretty much game over, should I say it? It, it should be, for sure. It should be game over if, uh, if we're not complete fools from here. We only need 20... Well, now 22 from 23. Gill in, in fantastic touch. And Tom Banton absolutely on fire at the minute. 14 off four. So, you know, we're going to try to get this over nice and quickly. Is again a full toss. The the bowling from uh, 
from the AI. They're going for Yorkers. That one was quick. It was a quick in-swinger, but just getting over-pitched. Steven Smith not happy, and I'm, I'm not surprised. It's just not It's just not good enough. I mean, the captaincy option to bowl Butler first off is not not good. <laughs> but again, a full bunger, and that one is cracked down the ground by Banton. Uh, he's just in, he's in impeccable touch here, in great form. You just, you just can't give him... You can't give him this many freebies. They're just bowling too many freebies. Steve Smith is not liking it. Again, it's a full toss. Again, it's going to go to the rope for four. And again, it's going to be a huge over in the context of this game. I, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why the good bowlers in this comp are bowling up such tripe. <laughs> I don't know why they are. I, people are going to think I've got the AI on like easy difficulty, but they're, they're not. <laughs> As we go for the big helicopter, it looks very close to being out, but they, they've they gone up. It's not given. Are they going to challenge? I probably would if I was them. It looked, it looked extremely straight, but they're not going to. I'm very shocked that they didn't challenge that because I thought it was, I thought it was out. And we get the little bug here where we got the leg by, but Banton is still at the crease as uh, we try to come down the track and and smoke it over cover, but just get a little bit uh, ahead of ourselves and give us too much room. Is Joffrey Archer, uh, new man at the at the bowling crease? I mean, they got a good bowling attack, dude. They got Joffrey Archer coming in at number three here. If he if he opened up, this could have been a much different uh, different chase. But they they opened up with Butler, silly enough, and now uh, now all the work is on uh, on their superstar Englishman. So. Yeah, we just got to play smart here. Gil doing fantastic job. He's been he's been excellent opening two games. He's been an absolute standout. As uh, again, that's quick. That's very very quick. 147.2 clicks. He's uh, he's cranking it up, trying to do his best for the best for his team, trying to trying to get that breakthrough. Because I mean, wicket. It's it's a game of wickets. If they can get a couple of wickets, pressure can still mount. Although, you know. It, it's probably a little bit too little, too late. Regardless, as uh, we try to come down the down the track there with Banton, it's uh, it's a short one, so we completely whiff on the shot. We need six off fifteen. You know, you know, we want to do it with one shot as we come down again, and Joff Roger is taking an absolute grab and a half. <laughs> I thought it was going to land safe for sure, but Archer with the presence of mind. After his follow-through, he doesn't have the biggest of follow-throughs, so that's probably one thing in his favor. But he's turned around so quickly, a couple of strides, and he's taken it one-handed. A little bit disappointing as uh, we bring the big boy, big uh, Dre Russ, to the crease. Couldn't quite get the job done last game, but we want to... I mean, Russell, he's a, he's a, confidence, he's a confidence player. We want to get him in winning games to get his confidence up as uh, this one is just played away for a single... It'll bring the it'll bring the big man on strike to try to finish it with the with the mighty blow, and yeah, we we want to bring him up to get his confidence sky high. If he can come out win the game, not much to do, but if he can do it, then uh, it uh, it just brings the confidence up. Unfortunately, it could have the negative effect of <laughs> of bringing his confidence down because he's going to get out to uh, to a pretty simple catch there at cover. It was I mean it was in the slot to hit. Just didn't get the purchase on it, and uh, he's not happy, uh, understandably. <laughs> a couple of chances to ice a game have gone uh, by the wayside. As now Ben Stokes comes to the crease. So, yeah, they, they've got... Yeah, I mean, honestly, this this game could have been completely different. Um, as Ben Stokes bowling quick as well, 144.7. Another full toss, but I was not expecting the the pace there from Stokes. He's, uh, he's deceptively quick. He doesn't... You know, he's a strong man, Stokes, obviously. Um, but he doesn't seem like he's going to bowl that quick, but he can, he definitely can crank it up to, to 140. So, deceptive. Deceptive for sure. Uh, but Karthik, Gill, surely are going to get this game done and dusted. We, we've dragged it out now. It, it should have been done a while ago. Finally, another full toss outside off, and Karthik is going to hit the winning runs with a huge maximum over cover and that is going to be the ball game right there that is a that is a resounding victory they did get a couple of wickets um to sort of put a little scare through the through the camp but uh at the end of the day we bowled too well to lose and we batted well enough to win the game tom banton 
player of the match. Probably a little unlucky. I mean, Kuldeep Yadav definitely deserved player of the match for sure. One for one. That is a huge momentum killer. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the IPL 2020 career here so far. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.